The court is now playing a caricature with the people's mind. Should I say that? Is that enough to say? The court is now playing. Of course, we have been expecting the judgment day to be reviewed so that Nigerians can know where they are standing. But it seems the courts are now intentionally playing with the court, the, the Nigerians' mind. Presidential election petitioner tribunal judgment date, no need for impatience. No need for the impatience. Pet must deliver judgment within 180 days of petition judgment that is on or before 16th of September 2023. After the adoption of submission, it is the prerogative of the judges to communicate to litigating parties the date of the judgment. Whether the judgment date is announced today or later will not alter the actual judgment in itself. It therefore makes little or no sense to pile pressure on the judges on the timing of the judgment. Rather, we must be focused on the judgment itself. One thing I, I would say is from every outwarmed and whatever the case may be these people are playing with the mindset of nigeria and if care is not taken we must put ourselves to understand that these people wants to play with our mind every case have been brought before the court Every case has been brought before, every evidence has been brought before Labour Party and every, everybody. And now people can now see that there's a negativity surrounding the court. There's a negativity surrounding the court. We must at all sense consider ourselves one of a kind of people that must be put in place. Because eventually, if these people continue to play with the minds of the people, it is going to be very dangerous. You have a man who is the president of a country that is about to cause a war between the neighboring countries, which is going to really affect Nigerians in a massive way. But they don't want to listen. They really don't want to listen. Even though I... Ne I, I Labour Party has presented their case and INEC could not even prove their case in court. Now, what is the next plan? What is the next step? The next step is that within 180 days, which is before September, there should be a date where the final judgment will be passed. Looking at the INEC Council, the APC Council, the Polar Metinibu Council and the petitioners, the Labour Party, looking at all the cases they have brought you will know from every judgment that labor party won this election so any manipulation that these people want to do in the court or however they want to do it in court they should know vividly well that nigerians are paying attention remember the INSO witness dr lawrence in paragraph 22 of his witness statement, tendered in court upon subpoena, admitted that the result in the RF would relied upon for the purpose of determination of the petition or review of election result collation. In paragraph 22 of, of his witness statement, tendered in court upon subpoena, admitted that result in the RF would rely upon for the purpose of the determination of the petition or review of election result collation. LP tendered true certified copies of results from IREV. LP data analyst and expert witness in his report to the court showed over 18K blood, that is 18,088 blood images of results, over 4K of overvoted result, over 39K inaccessibility result, all in the IREV. We should see these errors that these people intentionally decided to play out. And after playing out, they want to fool Nigerians. How is it possible? How is it possible that you are going to fool 200 million people? This is the event that is happening in the Nigerian Republic. They are tired of a particular system. They are tired of a particular system. And they said they no longer want that system for themselves. If you must take what belongs to them, then you pay them well. You pay them well.
Now look at everything. We have 18,000 blood images results, over 4,000 of overvoted results, 4,000, and 39,000 inaccessible results, all in the IRF. How come? I have a people who wants to keep telling lies, and they think their lies will help them enough. Enough is enough. This time Nigerians begin to do the needful and refuse to be bullied. That's just the honest truth. Nigerians must refuse to be bullied. And that is why everything that is being done should, shouldn't be allowed. In one way or the other, all this is inaccessible blood and overvoted result affected over 35 million PVC collection. The data analysis of IRF data was never countenanced by INEC. INEC also did not tender result sheet or analysis contrary to the submission of LPs, expert data analyst. So they never countered it. It's, it they never countered every evidence that the the to be an uh, Labour Party decided to bring in court. Maybe they feel too big to counter it. And as a result of that, they have made themselves victims of what has become. Now, the data analysis of IRF data was never countenanced by INEC. INEC also did not tender results sheet or analysis contrary to the submission of LPs as part. Now, it is pretty straightforward and easy to see that both Labour Party and INEC are on the same page as per the primality of IRF data as per collation or review of results and INEC consequences of malfeasance in the results uploaded onto the IRF. This proves that the judges are most likely to invalidate the result considering the staggering number of potential disenfranchisement. So, if we look at paragraph 22, I know that the authentic and statutory prescribed storage portal on which result can be assessed for the purpose of determination of this petition or review of the election is the IRF portal. Any alleged result or data generated by the petitioners either from or alleged AWS data warehouse or any other storage cloud whatsoever is false and not to be countenanced for the purpose of the election. These principles are out there. So tell me, how did these people announce Bola Metinimbu, the president? So it's either they cancel the election, they renew it, they redo, they redo the election without Tinimbu party and APC participating in it, and what else? It will be between Article and P2B. Because this charm of election should not be tolerated. Thanks for supporting the future news. Peace.